So we're here in Pale Valley Comic Con. We're actually here with the host of this event. Ruben, how you doing, man? Good. An amazing day here at Imperial Valley Comic Con, the second annual historical event. We have so many celebrities here, vendors that you would normally see at San Diego Comic Con. Um, this is it's incredible that we all have all these like-minded people that love the same thing under one roof and under one building in one day. And I just you just feel the energy, you know? And from cosplayers to enthusiasts of this pop culture, it's amazing. We have a lot of celebrities here. Um, Vicky Guerrero, actually across from me, she's from WWE. Nick Palma, he's Michelangelo in the Ninja Turtle movies. We have Blake Foster, Tracy Lynn Cruz, and Michael Capone. They're all Power Rangers. We have the Soup Nazi himself, Larry Thomas from Seinfeld. We have Dave Garcia, local legend artist. Bunch of famous cosplayers. A lot of amazing local artists, and it just goes on and on and on. Oh, this is a great turnout, man. It's it's pretty full, man. It's it's a lot of people came out, you know, cosplaying, non people here meet, meeting the fans. Me myself meeting Power Rangers got kind of fangirled out there, you know. Uh, it's it's a great turnout. How do you feel about the turnout that's gone so far? Very very cool. Very very cool. We had a, a a long line in the morning to get in. Everyone came in, did some cool shopping, got to meet everybody. Right now, we actually have some more people that are popping up right now. There's some booths that weren't open right when we opened up, and they're starting to open up right now. So there's some more people coming in. Um, just overall awesome event and, and tomorrow's gonna be cool too because tomorrow's kind of a switch up tomorrow's a cosplay contest with the first official cash prize in Imperial Valley history for a cosplay contest there's also a big uh, Smash Brothers video game tournament which is actually free to enter if you just with your admission um, bunch of prizes for that uh, and yeah it's just a, there's a lot of cool stuff yeah very dope, very dope. And I've, I've honestly, do you see anything like this getting bigger and bigger throughout the years now that, you know, the fan base is kind of growing? You know, it's in the Imperial Valley, it's small, but it's a big fan base and demand for it. So do you see it growing later in the future? Yeah, well, I mean, last year we only had three special guests. Now we got ten. Wow. So, I mean, in that alone, we already tripled the, the special guests, you know. And I've already had contacts and people reach out to me that are big names that want to come next year. So it's crazy because... Like next year is already evolving right now, you know. So next year I actually have a, a someone from DC who wants to come. It's a big legend artist as well. So we can't reveal who he is, but things like that are happening right now, you know. That's very dope. Honestly, I, I really enjoyed with this event how it's going, and uh, you're pretty great. You invited me and split that out here, and it's we get to do our thing, you know, go out and be the idiots we are and talk no, to no, some no, of the great people. You guys are. are doing it, man. Yeah. Like anyone here from Pearl Valley that like I respect. The ambition, the hustle, the dedication, you know what I mean? Because I'm like you, my, like, like that in sense, you know what I mean? I go out and I get it and we get it done, you know? It's like this convention, like everyone always went to a San Diego Comic Con or the one in Arizona, and those are awesome. But we're awesome too here. And like I want to go to those conventions still, but how cool would it be if we had our own too? You know what I mean? We deserve to have one. So this is it right here. This is ours, you know? And everybody is welcome. I have a comic book store and... We could have named it Metahumans Con or something, but no, I named it Imperial Valley Comic Con because this is for the Imperial Valley. That's what it's for. It's for our people. It's for and you guys. Show. It's for you guys, you know? For this all you. our show. Yeah. And, and also, another thing I can add, everybody that got a ticket, we didn't say this on the but everybody that got a ticket is in a raffle, and we're going to raffle off prizes, and it's free. It's just for showing up. It's like a thank you. It's really just got like in a free raffle. So wow. We're gonna give away a bunch of stuff later today. Wow, that's awesome. That's yeah. that's really cool, man. You're one for the people around here. You know, you're for the people. Yeah, definitely. You know? Always, always, always. I am one of the people, so you know. Very true. And so, what do you have to say to the people who are like, you know, you know, a lot of people, you know, still get bullied for kind of this stuff for enjoying what they love, and you know, people, you know, they just love what they love. You know, I'm a big Power Rangers fan, even though I'm 20 years old, still live with my mother, and you know, but you know, people. <laughs> Dude. It's it's what they love, you know, and you know, what do you have to say to people you know, like just do what you love, you know? I don't even think that's a thing anymore. I think that maybe that maybe that used to be a thing, but nowadays that's not even a thing because like everything that's in pop culture, like for instance like The Walking Dead, everybody lo loves The Walking Dead. That started from a comic book, dude. You know what I mean? For a lot of people don't know and they love the show, but it started from a comic book, right? And like being into all these things, I mean, the highest grossing films of all time right now are like the Marvel movies. So like no one can deny you know what I mean? Marvel and Star Wars movies are like the highest grossing. So no one can deny the power that this has. This isn't like a geek thing anymore. In fact, if anything, like maybe the like the, the geeks who are you know from the past were like, ah, oh, darn it, because like now it's like everyone's like into yeah. it, so to speak. It's you know my what I mean? thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I, I really don't think it's like that as much anymore. It's more universal, you know. It's evolved to something even more beautiful, oh. something like this. Yeah. It evolved into just 
just neutral. Like, just everybody digs it now. You know what I mean? People that didn't dig it before yeah. mm -hmm. dig it. I mean, you can ask someone, like, do you know who Spider-Man is walking down the street? They're going to know who Spider-Man is, even if they, like, you know what I mean? It's inevitable. My, my, my grandma knows who Spider-Man is. You know Fair I mean? enough. Yeah. It's, you know, it's the way it is now. And so how long, uh, so talk about your comic book shop. How long have you been running comic book shop now? So we've been around for three years now. So our new location, uh, we're going to have like a grand, grand opening like in March. But um, right now we're already open. We call it like a light opening. We're doing like four to eight right now. And then we'll get to our regular hours later. But uh, we're snuggled. We're 444 North Imperial Avenue in El Centro, California. And we're snuggled in between like Domino's and like the Church's Chicken like in that plaza. That's where we're at right now. That's our location. So if you wanted to come check us out, we are the only dealer, we're certified CGC grading. We also have, we're the only dealer with like vintage books. Like if you want to look for a first appearance of the Punisher, Amazing Spider-Man 129 or the first Iron Man book, that's at our store. You know what I mean? You want amazing back issues? We got that. Things that you think are difficult to find, we probably have it. And then of course, we can pretty much order any new book that exists. So yeah, sky's the limit. And we also have a big selection of like action figures and stuff too. That's very dope. Sky's the limit for us, you know? There's supposed to be some, like, strings to pull, you know, to do this and something so big, you know? You got to contact the people who are coming here, and then you got to put the it's event. A lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm running on, like, 35 minutes of sleep right now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so, like, between now and tomorrow, I probably need to get some rest, you know? But it is a lot of work, dude. It is, very, it is a lot of work. To be honest, I've done a lot of different things. This is probably, like, the hardest thing i worked on ever, you know what I mean? To, like, make a reality and to keep it going, you know what I mean? Um, I was also involved in getting the skate park made too, wow. so that was another big thing. Um, I'm like, I was like the only like skateboarder on like the committee committee, you know. So that took ten years. Damn. So like, when I set my mind on something, I do it. You know what I mean? Maybe I get that from skateboarding, to be honest, because with skateboarding, you fall, you get back up, you fall, you get back up. You know what I mean? I have that like dedication, that drive. I think it's. I, I, I can always thank skateboarding for that. It's something that I learned from that, where you got to get back up and do it because. If you give up, you never know. That could have been the try you landed, you know what I mean? And you don't land it if you don't keep trying, that perseverance. And so I just kind of put that work ethic into a lot of things and just work my butt off to, like, make things a reality. And, I mean, we're here. I mean, we're at Imperial Valley Comic Con. Yeah, we are at Imperial Valley Comic Con, real, baby. You know what I mean? It's, it's a thing. thing. you know? All yeah. right. And we have a, a lot of thanks to you and a lot of people who are working. Thank you for everything you do. It's, it's great coming out here. I've had a lot of good times. Uh, definitely some memories I'm going to remember for a while, a long time. Yes. And the other coolest thing, my favorite thing, is seeing all like the amazing cosplay. I have an actual 501st Legion Stormtrooper, Sand Trooper right here next to me. He's actually from there. His name's Dan. Awesome dude. And not just that, I mean, I just saw Bob Ross Deadpool walk across me. I did see that too. That was pretty funny. There's some funny, like, some funny costumes here. And tomorrow's going to be even wilder because, like, there's tons of, of tickets that sold. Just people that are coming only tomorrow. Because they just want to do the cosplay contest. Uh, do you have an Instagram or something for your comic book shop or, or your personally? Yeah. So my Instagram is Ruben Najera, R-U-B-E-N-N-A-J-E-R-A. -E and my store is Metahumans Comics, M-E-T-A-H-U-M-A-N-S-C-O-M-I-C-S, -E Metahumans Comics. Uh, we actually got the name certified from DC itself, actually. We got That's awesome. And then we do a lot of cool variants. We've had like a Walking Dead variant with Image. You can buy it at our store. And it has like Imperial Valley on it. It's like Walking Dead book. We also have one with Valiant. We have a Livewire cover with, with Mike Choi art. We have a lot of cool stuff like that. So, yeah, you can check us out there. And this convention, Imperial Valley Comic Con, that's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. On Twitter, I think we're Ivy Comic Con. But on everything else, Imperial Valley Comic Con, you can check us out there. Very cool. Very. Do you have an Instagram yourself, Five First? Uh, TD15169. You, I hope you can hear that. <laughs> uh, yeah, great, great costume. You made this yourself? Yes, it did. That is really impressive, and it looks really great. It looks very movie material. These have to be to specifications and not even be in the Legion. Yeah, you have to follow a strict. Yeah, very this true. Is as legit as it gets, dude. Very true. Very yeah. true. And I assume the Empire is fighting strong. Empire is fighting strong every day. All right, gotta get those rebel scums right. Exactly right. Get those rebel scums. All right, thank you guys so much. Hey, you guys been thank great. You. you guys been great. Hopefully, see you guys even more. Oh yeah. Split that. Check it out. <laughs>